How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. So today we're just going to take a quick little look at the ASUS ROG Delta and we have the white version here. You also get it in black uh, but we're going to take a look at the white one for today. So this is just going to be a nice quick little unboxing, test it out and see how it performs. Kind of like a first impressions. Now currently this headset is retailing for around $150 or 3000 Rand so it is a bit more up there but I have heard really good things about this headset. So let's open it up and try it out. So firstly, when opening up, you do get a nice little package here. Welcome to the Elite Republic of Gamers community. Always nice packaging. Now the headset itself. All right, we gotta get everything out here. Come on, there we go. All right, so we do have can move this out of the way for now. The headset. All right, so we'll leave the headset there for now. What else do you get? So firstly, you do get a extension USB-C cable, USB-A to USB-C extension. So we already know this is gonna be USB-C, which is, ooh. Alrighty, this is nice. So you do get some extra uh, cloth pads. These are the leatherite pads, which is awesome. I do like the option that you can have two. So it's not everybody likes, or some people just prefer to have either cloth or leatherite. And then you have all of your manuals if you want to check that out. Then finally, we do have our detachable bendable mic, which is pretty short. It's actually really short, but yeah, we're gonna just test it out later and also see how it sounds. But let's just quickly move all of these towards the side. Ah, the ear cups are so soft. Just gets me excited to actually try it out. All right, so I quickly plugged in the headset as well to get that RGB because it looks so good. Uh, now you can turn it off if you wanted to with this button over here, uh, but honestly, I'll just leave it on because it looks so good on this white headset. But anyway, let's quickly go over the construction and how it feels. So firstly, it does feel pretty good. Flex really good, flex a fair amount. Uh, it is mostly plastic of course but it does feel really good it doesn't feel like anything cheap i mean for the price uh it, it's definitely where it should be now it can adjust a bit here so you do have your aluminum uh, metal frame on the inside it's aluminum or metal i'm not always sure it's usually uh, aluminum i believe uh, but yeah you can adjust it a bit more it does have more of a not really roundish shape so yeah well we'll see how it feels but along with that still very very flexible and i know you're not really going to bend a headset like this but it's always just to show how durable uh, the headset can be uh, i still wouldn't like to drop it but yeah <laughs> yeah I, I, let's just go with that uh, but anyway, so far it feels really good. You do have some padding here at the top with the leather right material. Does feel really good there. Uh, for the ear cups, now again, the, these are, let's flip it this side around. These are the leather right ear cups. You do again have the cloth ones here, just depending on what you personally like. I it's hard to say. Sometimes I like the leather right a bit more and sometimes I like the cloth also depending on the beard because sometimes they can get caught and actually pull on the beard. So that's not, not the best. Um, but yeah, so far the ear cups, the cushions is quite soft for the leather right ones. They're not too big necessarily or even too thin thick so we'll see how that feels uh, when actually putting them on and also you do not have any padding against the inside of the driver wall which is usually a problem that I have when my ears scratch against the uh, driver wall and it can get quite annoying so we'll see how this one 
performs but so far it looks really good build quality is really good and now let's just quickly see if it feels that good as well so let's try it on this cable is now just in the way all righty right clamping force so firstly not too bad now it does feel like there's a bit more pressure towards the top than at the bottom but maybe you can just adjust that a bit but then it also goes down a bit too much maybe it's just my weird shaped head but yeah it actually it feels pretty good um, i can feel my ears touching against the driver wall but so far it doesn't feel like it's going to be annoying um, we'll we'll try it out and later on to see if it actually gets to that point but the ear cups are nice and soft it does fit really well on your head i'm actually quite happy with this and it looks cool as well um, now the climbing force again like i said not too bad you can shake it around normally uh, anything normal mount will be fine so that is good um, i can hear myself quite clearly so we'll, we'll see about uh, noise isolation and sound bleed i think that might be might be something that we're going to find out uh, isn't necessarily the best but it's going to be a, a home gaming headset so you're not going to wear it in public it's not going to be a problem now as for the cable again this is a type c cable so if you wanted to you could possibly use it on your mobile phone as well or if maybe if you have like a nintendo switch or something that is type c you can use it like that as well uh, but otherwise you do have this extension cable again that extends the cable a bit more i'm not sure about the length probably around uh, 1.2 meters or something uh, but you do have your uh, your type a port there as well from the type c so you do have that now as for the microphone it just pops in down here like that i believe i can't see there we go and then you can position it where it should be so that's how it's going to look once you use it so yeah that's it so far let's just quickly jump into a game now at uh, listen to how it sounds both in game and then also listen to some music and then we'll also test out the microphone all right so we're going to quickly play some call of duty you know um i'm playing against bots because i'm on the farm and there's not really any good internet connection out here so just bear with me uh but we're gonna play some call of duty try it out we're using the microphone as well now uh so hopefully it sounds pretty good i haven't listened to it yet but I have high hopes for this. You're on your own, soldier. So let's try. See if we can get anything. All right. So far, the audio is extremely loud. I can say that at least. Spatial awareness is quite good. There we go. Woo. Go. I'm pretty much only up here now.
Woo! Alright. Gunship, here we go. That was quite quick. Got him. Go. I'd say it does sound really good. I am definitely impressed. There we go. Nice. Oh! Beautiful shot, though. That was quick. There we go. All in a good day's work. All right, so far I am quite impressed. It is pretty loud, still quite comfortable. Hopefully, the mic sounds pretty good. Um, slide shot, nice. Spatial awareness is also pretty good. I believe it, they say it lies like a dual DAC or something. Uh, so definitely quite good. Now let's quickly play some. Years ago, and try it out there as well. All right, so I just quickly listened back to that previous clip, and I have to say that the microphone does sound really good. It's actually really good. So uh, I would say, from just my recording, if you wanted to stream with this mic, it would actually be a vi viable mic to use for streaming. You don't have to go for external mic. I was actually really impressed. So. Uh, I'm gonna play some more because apparently CSGO has an update and again, I'm on the farm. I don't have the, the cap to download like a gig update now. So uh, let's play some more Call of Duty, try it out for a bit more and yeah, let's just keep on playing. All right, so after playing for a bit more, I have to, I'm quite impressed with the Delta. And then I died, of course. Uh, but yeah, the microphone is really good. I was really impressed with the microphone the audio quality also it's it's quite loud it can go really loud i think i'm on 50 percent now and it's loud enough for me Just, there we go um the i will say that the uh frequency range it is a bit more towards the high end more usually it's a bit more bass heavy the gaming headsets but this is definitely a bit more towards the treble uh, focused but yeah I'm sure you can just EQ it if you want it a bit more but I am really impressed with it so far comfort is also good so far I haven't used it for very long probably around maybe an hour or so and I have no problems so far um, I I do believe I'm gonna have a bit of problem with with uh, my ear scratching against the driver wall. I can feel it. It's it's not a problem yet. Wow, my aim was so bad right there. Wow, I'm so bad with the this eagle. Wow. Um. But yeah, I am quite impressed so far for hundred and fifty dollars it's actually not too expensive as well for everything you get there we go all right so let's quickly end this game two more kills I was uh, actually, it's around 4 a.m. now, and I had to rem take off the headset a few times because it sounds like people are starting to wake up. But it's not, it's just like a lot of sound. There we go. In the game. 
going on. It's this round sound really good. Um, so that's pretty much it for my look at the ROG Delta. I have to, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I am really impressed. Now, of course, I haven't used it for very long. It's just around an hour that I actually used it. Uh, but so far, again, audio quality, pretty good so far from what I could tell uh, from my use cases, just playing some uh, Call of Duty. Uh, comfort is also so far good for around an hour of use. Mic is actually, I'm really impressed with the microphone, so I am happy to see that because usually the microphones aren't that good, so yeah, I'm, I'm actually glad to see that. Um, <laughs> now, hopefully, now I have found that sometimes my recordings sound really good and then other people just complains about the mic. Uh, so hopefully that's not the case here as well. Uh, but so far, I'm really impressed. $150, again, that's not that expensive uh, for a ROG headset that's also really good. You usually pay a bit more for the ROG products, uh, but I will say for this case, uh, it's actually worth it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my quick look at the ROG Delta. A big thanks to Asus of Africa for sending it over for this quick look. If you want to get it for yourself, I will leave links in the video description, so definitely check that out. And then I do hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will check all of you guys next time. Cheers, guys.